I'm sorry. I'm like trying like not to geek out right now. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, dude. Uh, can you run, run me through it again? I'm sorry. So uh, what heroes do you play? Uh, do you play on PC or console? And what rank are you? Um, I used to try to be a junk rat one trick, but this season I've been flexing hard. Cool. And uh, last Friday is when I reached diamond for the second time. Nice, dude. Then, That's actually pretty good. Thanks. The goal is top 500 right now. It's okay. A long road. You know, you, and, um, you could probably get it after a couple of seasons if you've been steadily grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I play on council right now. Uh, hopefully this Christmas I'll get all my PC stuff and uh, I'll start playing on there. And That's another goal on there too is top 500. Yeah, PC was, uh, I really liked it when I swapped over. Um, but console's still great. So what, yeah, yeah. so you said you're flexing. Do you have any heroes that you... Here you want me to focus on? You want me to play? Uh, you can maybe um, learn. Just do some Ana. Ana? Okay. Okay, so you, have you been playing a lot of Ana lately then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, before then it was Moira and Zen. Oh no, I think Threat's an Ana one trick. Uh, oh. Young. But, uh. Yeah, uh, I've been a zenning all of season, last season, and then this season I'm trying to do more Ana, just because she's fun to play as. Okay, yeah, Ana's really, really good right now. She's one of the best supports. Um, I know, like, in GOAT's composition and professional play, people actually run Lucio, Zenyatta, Brig. They don't run Ana. Um, but she's still, like, the best support in the game at the moment. So some some basic things I could tell you with Anna is obviously positioning is really good because you don't want to, to die because if you die everyone else dies. It's one of the most important heroes and for the team. Um, other things to note about Anna is that it's you know like Lucio, Lucio is a passive healer. Uh, Mercy is a constant healer that has fly all the time. The Anna's a burst healer, so you have to hear shots, obviously, and your cooldowns are extremely important. So if you waste your cooldowns, you're going to lose a lot of value. Um, so you definitely want to go for, you know, you just got to be really good with your, your cooldowns. So specifically, nade. If you do use nade offensively, which I like to do a lot, you got to be you got to be cautious about not having any healing, because the Anna doesn't have any self-healing, no regen, and... Um, you know, your other support's not always dependable. Yeah. So, I'm gonna play it back a little bit. I think I heard a Widow, which means I need to zone out the Widow's sidelines a little bit. Um, for now, I'm gonna focus on keeping my team up. Um, but I do want to look for some really good nades soon. I'm actually gonna play really close right here, which is not usually what you're supposed to be doing. But I like to go for these flank sleep darts and flank and nades. You notice how I'm playing behind this, this pillar here? I'm gonna die in the yeah. back, but things like that, playing behind pillars when you know they have a widow, is really important because you can't free heal when they have a widow. You always gotta pay attention to it. I, I ended up dying there anyways because Zarya was, you know, pushed up and my whole team got stuffed. But that wasn't really on me. That was because the my tanks, I think their Rhine charged and got value. So there's not really anything I could do there besides maybe hitting a good sleep dart. Who are they capped? All right, so I'm gonna try and keep this Rhine alive as long as possible. Um, hit a reload while he's at full health. Now I can nano him, and go for an Ana nade. Because if, if you think about it this way, if that Ryan died right there, or if I tried to run, then we lose so much ground for free. And I can sit here and try and pocket heal him, and we can waste more and more time on defense. Because essentially, the best thing you can do on defense is wasting time. This is where I need to start being cautious about the the, uh, the Widow. I'm gonna try and get a sleep dart on him. Oh shit. No, I should have I should have disengaged back a little bit. I was put up a little bit too far. It's really hard to do like this live commentary while playing. I never I never really do this. This is something Kabaji yeah. does a lot, and I definitely commend him. He's fucking nuts. Alright, so this is what I was trying to get us. I'm, I hit a shot on her. She's one. Um. All right, so something I could talk about is nano boost targets with this. Oh. Yo, Ryan's behind. That was an insane bubble. No. I get sniped. Something I can talk about um, is, yeah, nano boost targets. So we're running Ghost Comp, and 
I would say the three best targets to nano boost are um, Brig, Ryan, and Zarya, but D.Va is also extremely good. So pretty much anything. Lucio is terrible. The only time you're going to want a nano boost to Lucio is if he needs to stall. Um, but other than that, don't, never, never nano boost Lucio. Um, things that you can do to consider is like, nano boost Zarya when she's high energy, but when she doesn't have ult, that's a good time to do it because then she can farm ult with the nano boost. Um, but when she does have ult, then nano boosting Ryan or Brig is really good. Um, just because it's those are just simply good nano boost targets. I'm gonna go for a big nade here because our diva, our diva fell down. I'm gonna nano you, Ryan. I'm gonna nano you. I tried to let him know a little bit beforehand so he didn't back up, and that he started pushing forward before I nanoed him. Because people can't react immediately to, to nano boost. I got a fat anti nade there playing high ground. I'm trying to zone out the uh, the uh, widowmaker because the staircase. Acts like a makeshift um, wall to cover from the Widowmaker. That's like the number one thing I'm really worried about is, is the Widowmaker. Um, nothing can really burst me on that team. I guess Doomfist. Doomfist is actually really a threat too. Um, in order to protect yourself from Doomfist, you simply have to hit the Sleep Dart. Um, so you don't want to be positioned like right here, because Doomfist can come from high ground and slam you. So what you can do is just position in spots that makes it really hard for the Doom to, to one-shot combo you. Um, Alright, so what are some things that you want me to maybe focus on, or things that you struggle in, or or what? Um, to be honest, I don't really have much fun. No. Enjoying enjoy talking to you and being able to watch everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty cool idea. Um, when should nano be used purely for healing and when should it be used as an Genji tool? Use it for healing when you don't have burst healing to keep someone alive and you know they're gonna die. So like, at the end of first point when our Ryan was about to die, I was not gonna be able to keep him up, I needed to nano him. And it was a good nano target anyways. I'm gonna hit a sleep dart on this Ryan because he's not gonna die. I'm gonna try to back up a little bit. I'm really vulnerable here. I'm trying to help you, Ryan. Oh shit. Alright, I definitely don't want to die here because we might have a ring. I'm gonna nano you, Zarya. Go in, go in, go in. Zarya, go in. Zarya, go in. Oh. I tried. Nice. There's two down. We got this, we got this. Good shit, guys. Don't see nine. No, don't see nine. Don't see nine. Alright, so that play right there, don't don't tell C9, same point. So that play right there was extremely risky, but even if I died, it wouldn't really lose us that much value. Because we'd still have at least one or two fights left before they totally capped the point. And this paid off a lot because we actually stopped them. Um, the reason I did that is because I had nano boost and I wanted to nano boost the Zarya. But when I called it out, the Zarya wasn't actually able to touch the point. So I had to go in and touch the point. And I actually did touch it, and then as I touched it, I died, and then someone else touched it right after, so it was really good. Alright, so here, I'm worried about getting one shot by Hanzo and getting one shot by Doomfist. So if I position back here, they're not gonna get me. Now, Hanzo's not gonna hit a headshot this far away, and the uh, the Doomfist is, is not gonna get this far back. I'm gonna try and throw an anti nade just because I know that my team will be safe for a little bit. I don't need, like... Oh shit, I need a nano boost right here. That's a really good nano. And a really good sleep. I can't heal you guys the payload, the payload. Oh shit. I thought he wasn't actually going for me. I could have used that corner to kite him though. Whenever a doom fist try to find like a, a corner like that that you can walk on either side and dodge him. I like to go for those random sleep darts whenever I know that I'm not going to be needing it for the next, like, 10 seconds or so. I'm cool with positioning on the side over here, because I want to try to, I, like, I want to have good angles to heal my team, but also I want to play in a safe spot. But at the same time, I want to have um, good angles to get big anti-nades. So this next fight, I want to try and get a big anti-nade, and I'm going to be vocal about it. Guys, I'm going to go, I'm going to go for a big anti-nade, okay? I slept the Zarya. I'm anti nading. I got two with the anti. The Zarya had self bubble, so I ran out. Huge shatter, huge shatter. Do I have anti in two seconds. I can anti, I can anti. They're, they're anti, they're anti. I 
can go grab off, just keep pushing. I don't want to push too far, just because I don't want to get caught. Um, I don't want to die, but I can... You're right, I'm gonna nano boost you, right? We're gonna amp, you have speed, Lucio? You have speed, we can amp speed and, and nano boost, right? Back up, break, back up, break. I'll nano boost you, break. Oh no. Boost you. They're purple, they're purple. Don't untouch, don't untouch, don't untouch. Don't touch, guys. Boot them back, boot them back. Oh no. Our break, dude. Our break went way too far and then I. Nice, I didn't touch. Our break went way too far and then the Lucio jumped in front of me when I tried to nano boost the break. Nice. So, basically, the core things with Ana is. Just like every hero, know what can kill you. Because if you can know what kills you, then you can help your positioning. Like what I was talking about last game with Tracer, I knew the exact cooldowns that I need to worry about. Like with McCree stun, Brig stun, and a sleep dart. And knowing those cooldowns helps me figure out where I need to be positioned. So right here with Anna, I know that Hanzo is a threat and Doomfist is a threat. So that helps me figure out where I need to be positioned. And then. Other things to think about is obviously you want to have angles on your teammates to heal, but sometimes you want to have really good angles on the enemy to get a good anti nade. And the best way to get an anti nade is to throw your your nade from the side of the Rhine or try to get behind them somehow. Um, some cool things you could do is set up combos with teammates. Like if we have a Reinhardt, I can hide behind the enemy team if I get behind them somehow, and I can sleep dart the Rhine and then he can shatter them all. Or we could do we have Arissa, so I could do Arissa pull. Plus Ananade, which would be extremely high value. I apologize if I'm not asking too much. I'm still kind of starstruck. It's, it's all good, dude. Yeah. It's pretty fun to do this. Alright, so we have Bastion. They know Bastion's probably gonna be my target. I'm gonna go for a sleep dart here on the run. And then a huge ananade. Oh, they woke him up. If you hit a sleep dart like that, you can get a huge ananade right afterwards because their shield's not gonna be up. I'm, I could try to. Oh, I need help, Rdiva. You overextended. No. No. Oh my god. Huge sleep. I got the Pharah and the Zarya. Ooh, that was like. I made a really risky play because I knew our D.Va overextended. She flew too far and landed behind the enemy team. So I tried to help her and I got really vulnerable, but I ended up making like an insane sleep dart on Azaria, which got me out of a bad situation. Alright, I almost have Nana. I should have told him that I was dead and that I needed to play more passive. I can get a big anti nade here. Sorry, Zanti. I'm coming, Diva. I'm coming. Um, Bastion, do you want me to nano you up top? For sure. I can nano Diva. I keep doing this like rotation because I can't really get around corners to heal my team. Oh no, I got booked. I can't really get around that corner to heal my team. Something I could do is is flank left and and heal from the side as I tell my team to push in. But even then, if they start pushing me, then I have to rotate back to, to heal them. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna flank on the right side, guys. Oh, right, Bastion's over there. Yeah, I wanna I wanna try and get an anti nade. Okay, they're gonna use ult here. Watch out for fair barrage. Watch out for fair barrage. I need to try and sleep this barrage. He got bubble. Oh, I got him. I'm gonna save Nano Boost, so we're winning this. Eva, I can't heal you. I need to be pushing the payload right here. But also, Pocky healing my room. Ryan, I can't heal you in the room. Oh no. In this situation, as long as our Ryan would stay alive, I needed to start pushing the payload because we needed to uh, capture after we get like a kill. 
Yeah. We can't let the payload stay still. We gotta try and get as much value. Huge anti, huge anti, huge anti. I think we should win this. Good job, guys. I always have trouble trying to capture the second point. What's up, the Pharah? Yeah, you have trouble capturing the second point? Yeah, because they, they often use the staircase. What's cool? Yeah, someone push the payload. Someone push the payload, guys. I'm flanking. There's something cool you can do on, on Anna is you can use this high ground and get big anti nades. A nano use Zarya. I slept the run. I crippled the brig. Oh no. That was a really risky play that I went for, but it was pretty cool. Oh! If you know that the Reinhardt hits a shatter, he's gonna he always, 10 out of 10 times, he's gonna drop his shield. So you can get a sleep dart on him. I slept the Ryan, you can hit a shatter. You're a diva bomb, diva bomb. Oh no, he woke him up. They're gonna go for a barrage, guys. He's going for a barrage. I don't know where the fair is. He's up top, he's up top. I'm trying to heal you, diva. I slapped her, I slapped her. So I know that the Pharah is trying to do barrage combo with with Zariel. So every time they grab, I'm going to be looking in the sky to just sleep dart the Pharah. I slapped the Zarya, I slapped the Zarya. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, we have Nana Ryan, okay? I'm in Nana Ryan. Three, two, one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're powered up. Get in there. Pharah's behind. I'm just using cover from the fair at the moment. I want to make sure no one dies here because I want to have my whole team alive. I want to have my whole team alive when uh, we do this next fight starts. All right, we need to win this next fight, guys. I'm going to go for a sleep dart on the run, which we can get a big shatter, okay? Yo, heal. Yo, Ryan, Ryan, I'm gonna sleep them. You can hit a shatter when I sleep them, okay? Ryan, okay? Yo, I got, I got the mercy. I got the mercy. Mercy sleeping. My mercy is me. Huge anti. Huge anti. Huge anti. Huge anti. Huge anti. All right, they use grab barrage already. I don't. Where they? Did they have shatter? When our when our Hanzo dragons, I'm gonna go for a anti nade. Okay, never mind. Um, I was gonna say I'll go for anti nade because I know that the Ryan's gonna drop shield. Ryan's on the right, guys. He's going for a flank shatter. Your brig, your purple brig. They're, they're anti. They're anti. They're anti. They're anti. Oh no. No. Oh, I wish our Lucio was with me. I'm going for the back cap. No. They bought Valkyrie, just back up. Yo, back up away from me. Alright, we have, listen guys, we have grab Hanzo combo, so we're just focus on getting a good grab. And then we'll combo with Hanzo and GG. Just don't get wiped, guys. Don't engage yet. Just get Hanzo ult. Play passive until we get Hanzo ult. They're gonna have grab Hanzo, or grab Barrage, I think. No, sir. no they already did it. Alright, do we have Hanzo ult? Alright, we have it. We, right, let's go for the grab. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Zari. Let's go, Zari. They're anti, they're anti. I slept the Zari, I slept the Zari. Fair behind, fair behind, fair behind. Mercy's rising. Nice. Good shatter. Good job, guys. GG.
Nice. <laughs> Alright, so just saw the victory. was there anything that you think um, that I could have talked about that could have helped more, or maybe some things that you learned there? Oh, oh Tommy! Oh, the you were doing. Uh, what the hell? Just right the hey, honestly, I'm gonna leave this game. Alright, what are you saying? The rotation you were doing, um, whenever you get the payload around the corner, right away. Pretty smart. Yeah, uh, which, are you talking about first, second, or third? Are you talking about first point? Yeah, first point. Yeah, where you get you... the payload, like, right over the bridge and then right around the corner. Yeah, you can, like, go in that room and get the mini. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it, it does, it does help when people overextend and you have to get some heals on them. Because you can't really stay on the corner, and it's just an angle that you can use to uh, get some heals in. And there's also a health pack in there, so. Mm. Um, what do you think, chat? Was there anything else that we should talk about with Anna that might be able to help? Whether you know whether or, or when do you know whether or not to use your nade for your team or the enemy? Um, if your team's taking a lot of damage, you should definitely heal your team. If but if you're playing offensively, you can go for a big anti nade. Like if your team's not being pressured, you can go for a big anti-nade. I guess we're good to go. I hope I, yeah. I hope I helped. Hope you had a good time. Yeah, it was, it's, it's just cool. Cool talking to you, man. Right. I appreciate your sub and appreciate you uh, hanging out with me. See if I can get someone else. Yeah, thanks, dude. Peace.